Science Investigatory Project on Effects of Salt to Plants. Classmates, we are now doing the science investigatory project. We have plants, glasses, 100, uh, 1,000 ml of water, one tablespoon of salt, and we're using chopsticks for steering. First, we have to pour 500 ml of water into two glasses. Next, we're gonna put set B a salt, whole salt, uh, one, one tablespoon of salt. Each plant into its uh, each container. So we will go back after 30 minutes to observe what happened to the plant. So after 30 minutes, we observe that set A with fresh water stays the same, while set B with salt water withered because salt water in low concentrations can harm plants help, while high concentrations can be fatal. Even a small amount of salt mixed into water can put plants under stress. When salt dissolves into, salt, into water, the salt sodium chloride ions separate the sodium ions, go to water, and block nutrients that plants need, such as potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Instead of the healthy nutrients, chloride ions are absorbed, moving into the leaves and prohibiting photosynthesis. Lesser concentrations. Old leaves die out and crop sizes are reduced, while high concentrations may lead to plant death and plant death. Another way salt affects plants is similar to how it affects humans. It dehydrates. After eating a very salty meal, humans usually grab a drink to wash it down, which dilutes the soil content in their body. Plants don't have this luxury and have to rely on the environment or people to add water to the environment. Salt is not only blocks absorption chemically, but it also absorbs and drinks much the water that is placed around it as well. In summary, you shouldn't put some some salt into the water in the plants because it affects them. I'm Master Victor B. Saroy, grade 5 of Science Investigator. <laughs>